I am building a better vegetation rendering system than Unreal Engine with Nanite. And the Witcher demo proves exactly why we need this. Stick around for two minutes and I will show you what I mean. Unreal's Nanite vegetation looks fantastic until it moves. DLSS and TAA blurs the content into oblivion and rendering micropolygons are inefficient on GPU hardware wasting resources. The Witcher 4 demo proves why gamers deserve better and I am building that system. My first claim is clarity. Nanite rendering is noisy. It requires temporal anti-aliasing to blur the image. On top of that, DLSS upscaling adds another layer of blur. Let's look at three images. Earthworks 4 rendering at native 4K on the left. Real life filmed with a good 4K camera in the middle. And the Witcher 4 demo rendering between 800 and 1080p with TAA and DLSS on the right. A 2 pixel wide high pass filter reveals how little detail is left in Unreal Engine. This is the visual cost of Nanite. Earthworks on the other hand does not generate noise. The result is sharp and clear, even when the wind picks up. Nanite micropolygons are a bad match for GPU hardware. The Witcher 4 demo renders between 800 and 1080p in order to hit 60 frames per second on a PS5. Earthworks vegetation, on the other hand, was perfectly optimized to exploit GPU hardware. Rendering in full 4K on a 2080 Ti, the frame rate seldom drops below 200 frames per second. Even with 500,000 individual plants, 4.2 million triangles visible on screen, and 200,000 pivot points with smooth Bezier animations. If you care about performance and clarity in games, this matters. Please like and subscribe to follow my progress, or watch these videos on Bezier animations or procedural content generation.